What's up guys? We got another Cyrax video. He's uh, just wondering why no one's questioning Kate for some reason. So let's check it out. Ah, uh, now nah, let, let's talk about this. And uh, what I mean by talk about this, y'all trolls are gonna shut up and you're all gonna fucking listen and I'm gonna do the talking. Cause that's how this works. So, what I find funny is this. Okay? What I find real funny is this, Kate. You're quick to target me. Right? You're very quick to target me. But yet, you've done nothing wrong, right? That's a fucking lie. That is a motherfucking lie, bitch. I mean, why is it, Kate? Why did you target me, Kate? Hmm? Why'd you make me a target, Kate? Because you fell for it, Cyrax. That's really the only reason anyone needs to target a predator. Why'd you make me a target, Kate? Hmm? Why is that? You had no grounds to target me on. At all. You had no grounds to fucking target me like you fucking did. Yo bitch ass has been to court God knows how many motherfucking times. Not to mention you're a drug addict. And you're an alcoholic. And your daughter fucking got abused by you. Not to mention you have a real big habit of harassing the people that you go to court with. You know, people like Turtle Boy. So, I mean, it's pretty funny if you ask me, Kate. And it's kind of odd. I mean, it's kind of odd, Kate, at how you can sit there and play the hero saying that I'm a pedophile, right? But on what grounds am I a pedophile? On what grounds, bitch? I mean, you and Marty literally blackmailed me into that fucking shit. Well, more or less Marty did. But what I find interesting is that nobody's questioning your ass. Why is that? Hmm. Probably because you're the one going to court and not them. Maybe because they're scared of you? Because you like to blackmail people? Perhaps? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, you've done it before. You've done it to other people before, Kate. I mean, it's pretty funny how you can sit there and call me a pedophile, but yet all your history shows that you're the pedophile. You know, no matter how many times you try that, it's, it's just never, ever going to work. I mean, come on, Kate. We all know that Marty fucking hired you. We all know it. And we all know that after that shit went down with me, we all know that you took those fucking screenshots and you altered them. We all know that you altered them to make yourself look good, bitch. Oh, it's, it's altered now, huh? We all know that you have a habit of doing shit to make yourself look good. We all know damn well that you altered those fucking screenshots to make yourself look good. I'm not stupid. Like, everybody knows that you're a fucking piece of shit. You're garbage. Trash. You're worthless. And it's pretty funny to me, Kate, that how you can sit there and illegally entrap me and then have the balls sit there and call me a pedophile. Hmm. Maybe if you and Marty didn't conspire and blackmail against me, this wouldn't have happened. 
Maybe if you would, maybe if you would have shut your fucking mouth and left me the fuck alone, I wouldn't be in this position where I'm having to go to court. Hmm. Yeah. See, that's what this is all about. You just want to find any way to slime your way out of getting in trouble for what you did. I mean, it's pretty funny, Kate. Like, you sat there, and you claim that I'm a pedophile, but who's the real pedophile? Is it the one that you illegally entrapped? Or is it the one that has the fucking photos that premeditatedly decided to commit the act of pedophilia by having child porn on your computer and illegally entrapping that person. Oh my god, stop trying to sound smart. You sound like a fucking idiot. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty clear, Kate, that you're the fucking pedophile. You illegally entrapped me. And Marty, you sat there and fucking blackmailed me on the fucking phone. You literally sat there and fucking blackmailed me and told me that if I didn't go along with this, that you were going to come after me and my family. And don't lie, Marty. You know you did. You can't fucking lie. You know you did, motherfucker. You sat right there and called my phone and said that if I didn't talk to Kate, that shit was going to happen. I mean, we've all witnessed it multiple times on your YouTube channel, Marty. You sat right there on live streams and blackmailed me. Telling me that if I didn't dance or if I didn't do this or that, that this shit was going to happen. Marty and Kate had nothing to do with why you have to go to court and they're not going to be able to save you from going to court. I mean, it's pretty odd, Marty, how you randomly find Kate and then all of a sudden you decide to formulate a plan to make me look like a pedophile just so that you can have your way with me. I mean, it's pretty clear what you were trying to do, Marty. You were trying to make me look like a pedophile so you can isolate me and force me to do what the fuck you wanted me to do, you Hitler motherfucker. Like I said, Marty, you're a modern day Hitler. You're a modern day piece of shit Hitler. That's all you are. You use fear to control. And you like to bully people into doing what you want them to fucking do. So yes, Marty, you are a terroristic threat. You are a chomo. I mean, if you weren't a chomo, then why are you always supporting pedophiles like Tony? Cyrax, you come from a family of predators. Think about it. I mean, if you ain't a pedophile, then why are you sitting there talking to pedophiles like Tony? Who have actually done pedophilic shit. I mean, it's pretty clear to me, Marty, that you're a pedophile piece of shit just like Kate. I mean, y'all are honestly, y'all should fucking date. For real, I mean, you guys are both pedophiles, so why don't y'all hook up and date? Well, well, that just wouldn't make sense, because they're both adults. So, it, it, yeah, whatever. I mean, just saying. I mean, and if, if nobody likes the truth, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if nobody likes the fucking truth, but it is the truth. Y'all are a bunch of fucking dumbass fucking internet terrorist cult motherfuckers. You guys use fear to control people. You blackmail people. And if they don't do what you want, you ruin their lives and force them to do shit to ruin their lives. I mean, y'all been trying to ruin my life for the last five fucking goddamn years. Y'all have sat there and bullied me and pushed me and pushed me and pushed me, but yet... When I fire back, when I say something back, all of a sudden I'm the bad guy, right? 
No, you've always been the bad guy. From day one, you're a horrible little monster. When I whistle blow on the bullying and the blackmailing and the terroristic threats towards me and my family and the blackmailing my moms and sending her death threats and being shot at and being assaulted. When I blow the whistle on you motherfuckers, all of a sudden I'm the bad guy, right? Well, guess what? If I am the bad guy, I'm a damn good looking bad guy if you ask me. No, you're a gross, slimy, greasy, little scab-covered, gremlin, goblin, piece of shit monster. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm a fly-ass fucking bad guy if you ask me. I'm proud to be the bad guy in this story. And you want to know why? Because this bad guy knows the motherfucking truth. This bad guy knows what the fuck is up. I mean, it's pretty fucking funny, Marty, at how you claim that you never had anything to do with anyone's deaths, but yet there's three counts on your fucking hands. Three. You've got the two prostitutes. You have Jamie Nicole. That's three right there. Oh, and let's not forget, there was almost a fourth, which is your ex. Who just happens to be one of my good friends. She absolutely fucking hated you. And if she didn't get away from you, she would have been the fourth. I know what you were planning on doing, Marty. You were planning on killing her. The only reason why she got away from your ass was because of her kids. Had she not gotten away from her kid, gotten away from you, she'd be fucking dead right now. Why? Because you're a fucking murderer. You're a fat piece of shit murderer. That's all you are. I mean, what's the matter, Marty? The truth fucking hurt? Hey yo, CIA hole, wouldn't you say that it's pretty odd that all this shit seems to tie right back around to one person, Marty? I mean, don't, don't you find it kind of funny at how every single thing that's happened to me goes right back around to Marty every time. No, it goes back to you being a little monster and causing problems and getting into fights with everyone, you piece of shit. I mean, it's pretty funny to me at how Marty you can sit there, make a pass at me, I turn you down, you get mad. And so what do you decide to do? You decide to conspire with Kate to make me look like a pedophile. And Kate, let's be honest, you sat right there and first, at first and pretended to be 18 you fucking years old. And then you turned around and kept switching it up between 15 and 18 and 15 and 18 and 14 and 18. And then, when you set that picture, you turned around and claimed to be 14. I mean, which is it, Kate? Are you 36? Are you 18? What is it, bitch? You can't have your cake and eat it at the same time, you dumb fuck. Maybe just stop talking to someone the first time they say they're under 18. I mean, Kate, let's be honest. When this goes to court, and it will go to court, who do you think they're going to believe? Somebody like you, who has a track record of getting cases thrown out of court, and somebody who likes to blackmail and harass and attack the person that they're in court for, or the person that you decided to victimize? I 
I mean, let's be honest, Kate. Your track record is pretty fucking bad. I mean, let's be honest here, Kate. You got a lot of skeletons in your closet, bitch. A lot of skeletons in your closet. I mean, let's be honest, Kate. You help these motherfuckers go after Chris Chan. I mean, it's pretty funny how all your people, all this is one thing I've noticed about you and Marty and all your little terrorist friends, Katie. This is the one thing that I've figured that's very, very interesting. All of the people that you go after have one thing in common. Well, actually, two things in common. They either look weak or are special needs. Or, you know, they're predators, like you. I mean, let's think about it. You went after Christian, he was severely special needs. And I don't even know how many people you went after after that. And Marty, let's let's think about this for a minute, Marty. You helped Kate go after Christian. You went after Tony. You went after White Bowser, who almost killed, who attempted to take his own life. You went after, well, let's see, you got Tony, you got Chris Chan, you got Suplex City Vlogs, you got Missy Moo, you got myself. I mean, it's pretty obvious that all your little friends like to go after people that are special needs for three things. Money, clicks, and views. That's all it is for you, Marty. Money, clicks, and views. I mean, you said it yourself in the screenshot that Violet sent me. By the way, shout out to Violet. What's good, Vi? But it's pretty funny, Marty. And how you sat there and sent her that screenshot, like you sent her that message, and then she turned around and sent me the screenshot, which clearly read that if you can't have me, then no one can, and that money rules your world. I mean, that is what you said, after all. I mean, CIA hole. You saw them. You saw the screenshots, dude. I showed you that screenshot, man. I showed you that shit. God knows how many times, dude. I mean, you saw the screenshots, dog. You saw what was going on. I mean, it's pretty interesting that you can sit there, Marty, and do all that shit. And the only reason why you get out of this is because of daddy's money. Oh, by the way, Marty. Marty McFly. Sandwich bitch Marty. Sandwich eater boy. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your girlfriend is a troll. And every single one of your girlfriends have been trolls who have made you look like a complete fool over and over. She's fucking using you, dude. She's using you to scam other people, bro. She is flat out using your ass to scam people. I mean, do your research, motherfucker. Dig into her history. Do your research for yourself, man. Your girlfriend's a fucking troll. She ain't with you because she likes you. She's with you so she can scam other people. Trust me, I dug into your little girlfriend. She likes to scam people. That's what she does. And she's using your ass, and you're too stupid to see it. You're too fucking retarded to see it.
And you know what's funny, Marty? You know what's real funny about you? You sat there and claimed that you're a good guy. That you're a caring guy. And to some extent, you may have been in the past. But what I want to know is one thing. Why are you such a bitch? Hmm? Why are you such a fat, lazy bitch that lets raccoons steal his fucking pizza, bruh? I mean, come on. And the whole internet, all the internet saw that raccoon steal your pizza. Why are you lazy? Oh my god, shut up about that, Cyrax. This is why no one likes you. You're just fucking annoying, even if you weren't a little fucking monster. Hey, come on, Marty. We all saw what went down. We all saw that. To, and even even the trolls in the chat can admit. All the trolls can even admit that they watched that raccoon steal your motherfucking pizza, bruh. Hey, right, did we all not see it happen, guys? Did we all not see that raccoon steal that dude's pizza? I mean, I know I did. I know CIA did. I mean, we all saw that raccoon steal his pizza. So, I mean, Marty, if I was you, I'd find a different career. Because what are you going to do when you're 80 years old, Marty? When you hit 80 years old and YouTube's basically dead and gone, right? When YouTube's dead and gone and it's no longer around and it's dead, what are you going to do then? How are you going to make your money? Think about it. I got my I got my life planned out already. I already know what the fuck I'm gonna do and when I'm gonna do it. I already got my life fucking planned out, dude. I'm already set to fucking go. No, you're not. You have nothing planned out. You don't have two cents to your fucking name, and you would have no idea what to do if Sally kicked it tomorrow. But man, what about you, Marty? What are you gonna do when you turn 80 years old and YouTube's dead? You ain't gonna have no one to fuck with, are you? I already know where my future's headed, and it ain't in a fucking goddamn jail cell, neither. And what, and for all y'all trolls that wanna sit there and run your mouths and talk shit, let me say something to y'all real quick. Let me be fucking real with you guys. Alright, let me level with you for a second here. Do you guys not realize that how I act depends on how you treat me? If you treat me with respect and kindness and understanding, I'll treat you like a human being. But when you come at me fucking sideways, running your goddamn mouth thinking that you're a badass... Well, guess what? I'm gonna fire back and treat you the same fucking way. And do you guys not realize that everything I've done has been because y'all have pushed me to that point? All the shit that I've said, all the shit that I've done. I oh, man, I've made fucking mistakes in the past. No one's fucking perfect. We all make mistakes. Every last one of us. But for most people, those mistakes don't involve trying to get nudes from minors. That's kind of an unforgivable mistake. But what I do depends on how you fucking treat me. And everything I've done has been a result of y'all motherfuckers bullying me. And basically doing everything you can to fuck up my life. All because you motherfuckers are bored. I 
I mean, it's pretty funny at how Marty, you and Kate could sit there and fuck people's lives up with no repercussions. But guess what? When this shit's done, there is going to be repercussions for your actions. There will be repercussions for your fucking actions. Because you guys are literally a terroristic cult that blackmails people, illegally entraps people, all because of how they look. You illegally entrap and bully and blackmail people that have special needs or look weak. Well, guess what? I'm not weak anymore, motherfuckers. I'm the one y'all should be fucking looking out for. Because like I said, my legal team knows every single fucking thing. They've seen the screenshots. They've seen Kate's history. They've seen your history, Marty. And guess what? They ain't too happy with you motherfuckers. They're definitely not lawyers because no lawyer in his right mind would be okay with you making these videos. They ain't too happy with you motherfuckers, Marty. You, Kate, the trolls. Y'all have fucking bullied me. And why, Marty? Why'd you bully me, Marty? Because you couldn't take no for an answer? Because I was an easy target? Is that it? Because I was an easy target? Is that why you did it? And Kate, why'd you do what you did? I mean, we all know that you weren't paid off by Marty. Or maybe you were and you're just keeping your mouth shut about it. But it's pretty funny how when I ask you straight up why you do what you do, all you know is, is oh, because you're a pedophile. That's not a fucking answer, bitch. That is the only answer anyone really ever needs. Why is it that you can't give me a straight up answer? Why is that? Is because you're afraid that the whole world's gonna see the fucking truth and see why you did what you did? Like I said, I made my fair share of mistakes, but it's pretty funny at how I can own up to my mistakes, but y'all motherfuckers can't seem to own up to yours. You have never owned up to your mistakes. All you have ever tried to do was shift the blame on other people and then say, I atoned for it or it's in the past. It's pretty funny if you ask me. I've been owned up to my mistakes. I've been owned up to my mistakes, motherfuckers. But it seems to me that y'all can't own up to your mistakes and your wrongdoings. Y'all tell me to own up to my mistakes. Why don't you own up to yours, motherfuckers? Talk about calling, talk about calling the tea kettle black, huh? That's not how that saying goes. Talk about calling the tea kettle black, Marty. And all y'all trolls, talk about calling the motherfucking tea kettle black. Be right back, don't do it just one sec, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, boy. Got them candy bars, boy. Great. The guy who's been spending all this time talking about what a responsible, mature adult he is just left to go get snacks from mommy. Got that Godiva and that Reese's, man. Hell yeah. We good. But it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny how y'all trolls 
can sit there and bully someone like Chris Chan who has severe mental issues and then turn around and say that he's the bad guy. You know, me and Chris Chan are a lot alike. You guys are right. Me and him are a lot alike. In one very specific way. If y'all didn't push him to push him and bully him and bully him and antagonize him, he wouldn't have done what he did. Same with me. If y'all wouldn't have bullied me and blackmailed me and did all this shit and targeted me and did all this crap to make me feel afraid to feel like I had to do this shit, it wouldn't have happened. Straight up. It wouldn't have happened. What happened was a mistake. But I ain't the only one at fault. Y'all motherfuckers are at fault as well, man. Now, like I said, I'm not backing up what he did. What he did was wrong. But should he have been jailed for it? No. If anything, they should have let his ass fucking go and got him the help he fucking needed and gotten y'all motherfuckers arrested. That is a wild take on what he did to his mom that you think he should just be let go. Well, guess what? I'm that motherfucker that's going to do that for him. I'm going to make sure y'all motherfuckers go down. I'm going to make sure y'all get arrested for this shit y'all done to me, to him, and every other fucking person. I mean, let's be honest, man. You guys pushed White Bowser to where he attempted to take his own fucking life. That poor boy attempted to take his own fucking life because of you guys. And y'all sit there and think that shit's funny when it ain't funny. That shit ain't funny at all, dude. Well, luckily, Bowser is just a big fat liar. Just like you. I mean, y'all sit there and you bully people and bully people until they take their own lives. Why? Because you think it's funny? You think it's cute and funny watching somebody want to take their own life? Nah, that shit ain't funny, dude. That shit's disgusting, distasteful, and it's fucking garbage. Straight up. That's fucking garbage. I mean, Kate, why'd you... Why'd you straight up bully Chris Chan? And Marty, I can ask you the same thing, bro. Why'd you help Kate bully Chris Chan along with the other trolls? Why'd you guys target him? Because he's different? Because he's doing his own thing? Yeah, he may have been a little bit weird, but you know what? He was doing his own thing. He wasn't bothering nobody. He was doing his own motherfucking thing. Not bothering nobody. Sticking to himself. But then what'd y'all do? Y'all came along and made him do what he did. And then guess what? Y'all pushed him to do what he did. He ended up in jail. And now y'all sit here and harass him all fucking day long, dude. All fucking day you sit here and harass that poor kid. Just like you do me. But me, I can take it. I'm cool with the harassment, bro. I said it, I'm fucking cool with it. Because I can handle y'all motherfuckers. He couldn't. And that's, that's unfortunate and sad. And White Bowser clearly couldn't take it. Because White Bowser tried to fucking sit there and take his own life. Because y'all wanted to sit there and push him over the fucking edge. And that's fucking sad. And to White Bowser, I do hope that you're... I genuinely do hope that you're doing okay. And I do genuinely hope that you're getting the help that you need, bro. I really do. I genuinely hope that you're getting the help that you need, man. I really do. I do hope that you're doing good. And I do genuinely hope that, you know, you're getting the help that you need. And I pray that you get better soon, man. And I'm glad that you're still here. I'm glad that you're still here, White Bowser. And I want you to know, White Bowser, I know exactly what it's like to be where you're at, man. Because I've been there myself. 
I attempted to take my own life two years ago myself, so I understand what it's like. I understand that shit. But y'all motherfucking trolls need to grow the fuck up. You need to shut the fuck up. And you need to stop lying about not having about having a job because we all know that y'all ain't got a job for shit. We all know that y'all motherfuckers ain't got a goddamn job in hell. I mean, dude, not even the fucking devil himself would hire you motherfuckers. He'd look at you motherfuckers and throw y'all the fuck out and be like, nah, get the fuck out of here. Why? Because y'all are too fucking dumb. Like I said, not even Satan himself would hire your asses. Because y'all are that fucking lazy. Like, what's the point in bullying people? What's the point in spreading hate? Instead of spreading hatred and negativity, we should be spreading peace, love, understanding, caring, building each other up, not tearing each other down and bullying people and making them out to be this monster and this and that and the other. Not nah. That shouldn't be going on. That shouldn't be happening. But unfortunately, it does. And like I said, when this is all said and done, YouTube, y'all motherfuckers are gonna be held responsible for you for letting this shit go down. Every last fucking one of you. Every last one of you is gonna be held responsible for what you guys have done to me and to all these other people. It's wrong, man. It's fucking wrong, it's stupid, and it needs to stop. Yeah, but you're the one who's actually in trouble. No matter how much you want to blame everybody else, you're the one who's actually in trouble. It's total fucking bullshit. That people should have to bow down to what you guys want them to do. I mean, why should why should people do what you want them to do? Why can't y'all let people do what they fucking want to do and let them live their lives in peace? Huh? Why can't you let people do what they fucking want to do? Like with me. I do gaming. I do my music. I do my own clothing stuff. And I have fun. But yet, I don't get to do that. Why? Why is it that y'all want to see me rage out so bad? Huh? Why is it that you guys want to sit there and see me rage out so fucking bad? What is it about me raging out that makes it funny to you? Like, why is it that you guys like to see me rage out? Why is that? Because you're a monster and people hate you and they love it when you're unhappy. Like, I genuinely want to know, why do you guys want to see me rage out so bad? What is it about me raging out that's so fucking funny to you? <laughs> do I have any merch for sale? Not yet. So, Murder Bear, Murder Bear, let me ask you this. What about it? What about me raging out is funny? Like, what about it is funny? What about me raging out is funny to you? Like, what is it that makes it funny? Like, give me a specific thing that makes it funny.
And don't just give me some generic because it's enjoyable. No, I want a specific reason about what is it that makes it funny to you. Well, I'm waiting. See, right there, you can't even fucking answer. Because you ain't got a fucking answer. And that right there, a reason. You guys can't give me a specific answer to a specific question. Which means your guys' reasoning is invalid. Your guys' reason is invalid. I mean, it's pretty sad. I mean, it's pretty sad that you guys gotta waste your time laughing at other people's misery. It's pretty sad that you guys gotta bully people and antagonize people and entrap people and make them look like shit just to get a laugh. It's sad that you sit here for 40 minutes whining and crying and trying to blame everybody else in the world for your problems. Sorry, but I'm not the angry German kid. I'm not that person. That's not who I am. I'm not like that. I'm far from that. And I know what y'all are trying to do. Y'all are trying to make me out to be like the angry German kid. You guys want me to rape out just so you can get a cheap laugh. And it's sad. It's pathetic. And it's garbage. So next time, before fucking making someone rage out for your enjoyment, why don't you think about how they fucking feel? Oh wait, I forgot. Y'all don't care because you're a bunch of fucking heartless ass. You guys are a bunch of heartless ass. Motherfucking pussies. Yo, Legend of Life, appreciate you, man. Oh, and if anybody would like to know, because I know a lot of people have been wondering, am I going to be releasing any music anytime soon? And the answer is yes, I am. Your boy's working on a brand new motherfucking metalcore album for my channel under my brand new name called Desolate Scream, which is my brand new name. Cyrax, he's dead, gone, finito. You've tried that so many times, and it's just never going to work, Cyrax. Yo boy, Desolate Scream, me, is dropping a brand new fucking metalcore album coming very fucking soon. I'm three songs in, it's gonna be a full ass 12 track album, and yes, the songs are going to be copywritten under my name. To where they can't be fucked with. So no. Motherfucking glory hole. You ain't gonna get your little motherfucking grubby hands on bro. I'm gonna make damn sure that shit gets copywritten. And you can't fuck with it. Now when the album will be out. I don't know. But. When it is. I promise y'all man. For all my motherfucking fellow meds out there. I know you guys are going to fucking love this shit. I know y'all are going to enjoy this shit. Oh, and by the way, I do have a little special surprise for y'all coming later on. I may or may not be doing one of the songs here in a few, in a couple hours on this channel. To help promote my other channel. Just saying. Your boy might end up doing some metalcore covers here in the next couple hours or so. Just saying. 
Because I know all y'all metalheads out there that do enjoy my covers. I know y'all fucking love my Stitch covers. I know y'all fucking love my metal covers. So yes, I will be doing metal covers on here as well as music. That is going to be a thing. I am going to make that a thing. Do I take requests? Depends on if I depends if I know the song or the artist or the band or not. If I know the band and the artist, then yeah. If I don't know them, I tend to look the song up or the artist up after stream and then yeah. <clears throat> but with that being said, I'm about to bounce because I need to get back to working on this motherfucking album, baby. And with that being said, I will catch you guys here in just a couple hours, maybe an hour or so. Oh, and by the way, to Wormwood, and this just so everybody knows here, okay? Let me put this out there real quick. For everybody calling me Chase, go ahead and keep calling me Chase, because guess what? That used to be one of my nicknames as a kid. Hey, uh, D.A.M., that's because I don't have Super Chat yet. I do not have Super Chat as of yet, but I do have a Cash App. Oh, bam. There you go. Matter of fact, I will pin this up. There you go. That way, if you do want to donate, you can. If you want to, you can. So, we good there. That way, if you want to donate, because I don't have Super Chat yet, you're more than welcome to donate, brother. But with that being said, man, I gotta finish up this song that I've been working on. Then I'm gonna set up for a two hour long metalcore show and we about to get it. Yo, Draven, check the pinned message, bro. That's my cash app. Cyrax official. It's right up there at the very top, bro. So I gotta finish up a couple songs and then I'm gonna sit down, take a breather, and get ready for a show for you guys and. Catch you on a bit, baby. As I always say, man, stay humble, stay positive. Don't be negative towards anyone, man. Always try to help them out. If you see someone in need, man, fucking help them out, bro. Don't tear them down, man. Help them out. But with that being said, I fucking love you guys. As always, stay humble, stay positive. Don't let anybody throw any kind of garbage or shade at you guys. And I'll catch you guys here in a little bit, man. Peace. Whew. So, that was a long one, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to help Cyrax, still got to go to court. But thanks for watching guys, have a good day. <laughs>